season three has started. Yes, it has. And Carrie is just. What did I tell you? (laughs) Carrie's just, yeah, exactly. Carrie is lost and therefore destructive and naughty and looking for trouble wherever she can find it. I love that she kicked the ass of those guys. That's right. Right. She's on a hair trigger right now, isn't she? Like, she's like almost looking for it. I mean, did you see how she was just like standing there while he was massaging her butt? Just like waiting for it, waiting to strike. Who does that? She Carrie does. Hopewell. <laughs> I love it, I love it. But also she's getting involved with uh, Colonel Stowe, with who we found out is kind of a badass in his own right. Yes. Like, kind of dangerous. Yes, I think she knows that he's in the military. And I think she smells the danger on him, which is why she's probably attracted to him, besides, of course, the fact that she likes a military man. Uh, But she doesn't know. She doesn't know. She didn't know what was going on in the safe there. That's not what this was about. It wasn't about the score that, that he potentially had for the team or for her. It was just naughty. But, and then in season, in episode two, again, she gets her toy taken away. And she's a little harumph about it, but it's the right thing. And, but also, now that she is part of the job to go steal that stuff. Of course stuff, she's part of the job. They um, can't do anything without Carrie. Uh, that's going to be an interesting uh, dynamic between her and Stowe. I mean, I'm guessing we're going to get some interesting scenes between those two. Oh, you're going to get a very interesting scene or two. Between, and, I, and that I could not tell you about. No. Looking forward to Later, it. yeah. Speaking of exciting scenes, Harry met Nola. Yes. Is that in episode two? Yes, that's right. That's at the end. That was the first, besides, of course, Deva and family scenes. I think there's no other female scenes, like two girls of Banshee, two Banshee girls, whatever, having a scene together. We're not talking about any men. We're not. We're just talking to each other. How many have you seen? It was just the apple. She just comes into the diner. No, no, but how many episodes have you oh, seen? Oh, just two. Two, okay, okay. So after, after this, now it's all new for you. Yes. So very exciting. I'm excited for you. Yeah. And so can you tease anything about Nola and Carrie? Is it the last that we see of them together, or is there more? I'm just going to let everyone imagine what they will about what's going on. Okay, Nola. It'd be something surprising. Or maybe not surprising, I don't know. That's what I will tease. Oh, so mean, so mean. <laughs> and what about Hood and Carrie? Because he still, obviously, is still caring about her. and She cares still... about him, too. It's a, that's a complicated relationship, to say the least. Harry, Harry and Hood. Hood and Carrie. It's just so complicated, and I think he reminds her of so much pain. And even though she loves him and will always love him, right now, at very least, it's just a reminder of so many bad things that happened. And even though she has sort of accepted her part in the situation as well, he still was the catalyst with everything blowing up in her face. So I don't think that she's mad at him. She's just mad. I think she's just... She's just destructive. Doesn't know what to do with herself. It's that thing of be careful what you wish for, right? So now her that big threat is gone, and and now what? Now what? Now what is her life? Do you think that she ever thinks about leaving Benji? Or find something else somewhere else? Obviously, I think not. she. I don't think so because I. I think deep down inside she's still a mother, so. She can't just run off willy-nilly. She might daydream about it a little bit, right? Like maybe every mother in the world might, but not. I don't think she would ever abandon her. I don't think she would ever actually abandon her kids physically. She might be a horrible mother right now and be kind of useless emotionally, but I don't think she'd actually ever leave them. Do you think she would maybe take them with her? Oh, she would definitely take them with her if she went anywhere, but... Does she want to take them with her? Nah, the show's called Banshee. I know. She loves it, though. Uh, What about Gordon? Because he is a mess. I I don't even... Maybe he's more of a mess than last season. I don't know, but... 
Is yes. she coming back into his life to kind of strain him out a little bit, or are they kind of just each dealing with their own thing? He's actually going to school her a little bit. A little bit. Everyone's. It seems like people are trying to help Carrie. Lucas is trying to help Carrie. There's going to be a come to Jesus moment with Gordon. Yet yeah, Carrie is still slowly. Slowly, she's going to wake up. Now, is there something that you don't know about Carrie that you wish you knew that, that you haven't been told yet, or you're just wondering? Well, I fill in the blanks myself. Like, there's nothing I don't know about Carrie, but what happens sometimes is I've written Carrie in my head. Like, I filled in the blanks, whatever isn't on the page, and then I'll come to the show and be like, I think it's about this right now. This is what I would naturally uh, go for or want or be about. And they're like, no, actually you're this, and then you have to rethink things. So... I mean, I would just love to, I would love Jonathan to write a whole biography of Carrie so I could study it and then be that person. Yeah. They tell us little things, but they're careful to tell us too much because we can get, we actors can get attached to something and then not, because of um, who knows what reason something will change and they're not going to have that plot line or that storyline. I remember Trieste, Kelly Dunn, who plays Siobhan, uh, they, she was told at first, like, oh, you're going to have a horse. And then for, I think, all that stuff, there was some horse drama that was happening in television, and they were not about to give her a horse or any kind of animal. And they were like, no, you're lonely. You're alone. And she was so bummed that she didn't Aww. get a horse. She's like, where's my horse? Exactly. So, like, I think they're careful to tell us, to tease too much even to us in the beginning because of that. And because they're not certain. You know, things change. Like, whether, whether it's technical because of a location or just an imp- it costs too much or whatever it is things can change now you I know some oh. things though but I'm not telling you no. <laughs> but you don't want to know do no, you no I don't you don't actually fundamentally I don't because it's so much fun to just be like what because so much so much of our show is shocking or like meant to surprise you or not on moments that it's just no fun if you know I know I have to ask I have to ask you must yeah. you've got to ask and I must tell you no yeah, exactly <laughs> And um, you brought up Siobhan. Are we going to see Carrie and her get some scenes or some things? We are going to make sweet, sweet, just kidding. (laughs) Uh, No, I don't really have any scenes. I I mean, we were in the same, we get excited even when we're in the same scene together, kind of like in the first episode of season three when we were together in the diner. We're like, we're at work together. We love it. Oh, so no, I don't think so. Four. Unless I'm forgetting something. I don't think I am, no. And if you could talk to Carrie right now, what would you tell me? Girl, you need to go on a meditation retreat. Or some kind of a therapy. Some therapy, something. Is it draining for you to play Carrie this season? Or was it draining? I think this this season is lighter for me than the other two, in a way. But by the end, but usually what happens with Carrie is things get amped up at the end. So we just we also just care so much about this show. Like we we put everything we have into it. We really do. So yes, it's draining, but I love it. And my final question for you, if you could go back in the past and talk to yourself when you first started Banshee, what would you tell yourself? That is such a good question. I don't... I guess I would say start taking vitamin K. It's going to be a long ride. And it's going to be a long ride. No, because no, it really helps with the bruises and I think I'm vitamin K deficient. And I need to, that's why I bruise so much. I'm always talking about it. 